What's up everyone, Z-Dub here and thank you for stopping by and checking out my final review of Iron Man VR released exclusively for the PlayStation VR. Now as many of you know, I absolutely loved the demo and could not believe how well it controlled and how much you could actually feel like Iron Man while getting a true sense of flight due to what camouflage managed to pull off on the PSVR hardware. So now that I've had a chance to play the full release, do I still feel the same about this title? Well yes I do in most aspects. This title packs a bunch of great content and hours of play in, but it's not without its flaws that can keep it from greatness. Now if this is your first time stopping by from one of my reviews, let me start by saying this. All of my game reviews are done from a critically honest perspective. I feel like you shouldn't have to force yourself or convince yourself to have fun with something. So if you're like me and you're looking for the best experiences out there, ones that are truly worthy of your time and money, you've come to the right place. So if you haven't subscribed already, make sure you do so you don't miss out on any future videos and hit that button and bell and you'll be up to date with all my content. Now let's get into this. Iron Man VR. Could this really be a full-fledged AAA VR experience taking advantage of a fantastic IP like Iron Man? Is there enough content here to fill a complete campaign without feeling overly repetitive? How does it feel to fly? And more importantly, will you feel like Iron Man or are you gonna get sick? Well, I got great news for folks wanting to don the armor. This is the title you've been waiting for. From the moment the game starts and you look out through the mask, the sense of being in the suit is real and exhilarating. When I first hit the thrusters for the first time, I had the largest smile on my face and I felt this pretty much the entire time I was flying around in the suit. Now this title is a complete experience, and it's not just a tech demo. From several missions, varied levels, suit upgrades, and a really solid comic book cartoon style story that does not feel tacked on but fully realized. The game weighs in at about 8 hours and it packs in a solid amount of content here for 40 bucks. There's 12 missions ranging from standard combat missions to some pretty well designed boss fights that are really fun and they have some interesting and challenging fight mechanics you gotta learn. Now at its core, Iron Man VR is all about flying in the suit. And this game handles flight so well that even though some of the areas were reused for multiple missions and you basically battle the same drones throughout besides the big boss fights, I feel this title still provided an amazing VR experience in the package for what is offered here. Now, like I said earlier, I absolutely love this game, but it's not without its flaws. So keep that in mind as I bring things up. None of these things I mentioned should keep you from experiencing this game if you have a PSVR headset and the Move controllers. This is a must play for VR enthusiasts and these are just some issues I had with the game that I feel could have been a bit better. Now having said that, I will say some of the mission areas you fly in are better than others. And there is some reuse of areas and some of the recycled mission objectives can get stale. But if you enjoy the flying, this isn't going to bother you too much. Now one thing I was very disappointed with was the city area of Shanghai. My main complaint with this, besides the poor graphics you can see here, was that it was very restrictive level for flying compared to the other levels. Now the flight and the gameplay in this title really excel in the open air levels, which there are not as many things to bump into. Now I really enjoyed those less constricting levels and think the city level was a big miss. Now luckily, the other areas in the game were great, and I especially liked flying through the mountain canyons and chasing enemies down here. Now as far as the VR mechanics and the feel and design, for one, you would think flying around in full 360 immersion just couldn't be done on the PSVR because it's not a true room scale device. And second, you'd expect to get really sick after a few minutes. Now let me tell you, they literally checked both boxes here and everything is perfect. There's zero motion sickness and I played through the entire game in long sessions and I never got sick once. This is truly a testament to camouflage really understanding VR game design and development. When I'm saying this makes you feel like Iron Man, I mean it. I had the full feeling I was in flight and in control of every aspect of the suit, and I absolutely loved it. The controls are super intuitive, from using the thrusters to fire your repulsors, or using the jets in the hands to fly around, it's just how I would imagine it feeling in real life. They work so well and feel so natural even with the dated move controllers. Now Camouflage really did an amazing job creating a true 360 experience, considering the limitations of a single sensor PSVR setup. There were so many design choices they chose that really aided and played into the strengths of the PSVR hardware. You do, however, you gotta watch out for the VR cable as you move around in 360. It does get twisted. I wound up pulling it out a couple times just by stepping on it. One thing this title does very well is keeping you in the play space seamlessly. And that's a huge surprise considering all the body movement taking place. They just nailed it, plain and simple. At any time you could just look to the ground, see where you're supposed to be, and adjust your position if necessary. To me this felt like it was part of the game world and it never got in the way. The wayfinding and the objectives are very clear, 
and there's nothing that takes you away from the experience of flight and being Iron Man. Now let's touch on graphics for a moment. For most of the game, the graphics look and feel great. They aren't the greatest, but it's unfair to compare this to something like a Rift or an Index. Now Camouflage made several graphical design choices that worked really well and played up to the strengths of the hardware. They chose an animated style that didn't need a ton of detail, which was a very smart move. Even with the graphics not being on the level of a PC headset, when the action starts, it all melts away and it looks awesome because the gameplay is that good and immersive. Now the footage shown here is on a PS4 Pro, but there are times you can see the lower graphical fidelity of what the PSVR hardware can actually handle. I do think they got all they could out of it, but I think some of the level choices could have been a bit better. For one, my biggest complaint here again is this Shanghai City level. As you can see, the buildings in the area are very low res, and they have a very PS2 era graphics feel to them. I also disliked flying around this level, as I said earlier. The buildings in combat here just didn't feel great to me. Now on the other hand, for levels in the sky or the mountains, the graphics looked much better due to the art style chosen for these. When you're flying just in a cloudy sky, it looks and feels great, and in my opinion, this is where the game is at its best. Now one item that has to be brought up is the insanely long load times. I think they did what they could with the resources they had on the PS4, but unfortunately the loads were very long. Still, nothing that should keep you from playing this, but it has to be pointed out because it is very apparent and it slows down the actions between levels way too much. I also thought the non-suit levels at times really slowed the pace of the game down, and that combined with the long load times, literally it could take over 5 minutes to get back in the suit, back in flight, between loading, going back to Stark Tower, and loading again before another action-packed mission. As far as replayability and lasting appeal, all the levels can be replayed and have various flight and combat challenges associated with them. So there's some replay here if you want to fly around more. So in closing, is this game for you? Well, if you like the demo and you're looking for a solid Iron Man story combined with some pretty cool boss fights and you want to fly around as Iron Man, then I'd say yes. So for my fun or not recommendation, this is a must-play VR title for VR enthusiasts if you own a PSVR. I wouldn't go out and buy a PSVR just for this, as it fell a bit flat to be a true killer app, but if you already have the hardware and the required move controllers, this is a fantastic experience and one of the greatest available on the PSVR. While I had some minor issues with it, this will definitely fill the fun gauge and it's a strong recommend and earns a high fun rating for the time you spend with it and there's a lot to enjoy here. Now if you played this or got anything to say about it, let me know in the comments, I'd love to hear it. So thanks for stopping by and watching, and if you enjoyed this and you're interested in honest reviews focusing on whether a game is purely fun or not, or whether a game will wow you, subscribe so you don't miss out on any future gaming content. Well I gotta get back to flying the suit again, so I'll see you next time. This is Z-Dub, out.